When you're running for over 450 yards against an SEC opponent, an SEC opponent what is that like from an offensive lineman standpoint? Um, you know, it's just makes you feel good because, I mean, obviously there's success in the run game, opens up the pass game, you know, like anything you could run, any play could be a big one. Um, just everybody's doing their job. It lets you see, you know, everything's kind of clicking. So it's obviously a good thing. Adam. Coach Golish told us that Hidden Hooker's toughness is pretty apparent to everybody. How have you seen that play out in, in a game, his physical toughness? Yeah, definitely. He's definitely a tough guy. Um, runs the ball hard. He runs like a running back, honestly. When he gets the ball in his hand, he's not he's not scared to you know if go fight for that first down. He's not the kind of guy that's going to step out of bounds. You know, he wants to lay that lick. So, definitely a tough guy. Yeah. Okay, just what have you seen from Holly? And, and I imagine with you being a local kid as well, it's been pretty cool for you to see his story kind of live out. Yeah, for sure. I was super proud of him this week. He had a great game. Uh, he plays really hard, works hard every day at practice, you know, to just try to get better, get that 1% every day. But I was definitely happy for him this week. How have you seen him grow since he first got here? Um, just watched him, you know, work every day, work hard in the weight room and practice, you know, focusing on things to get better at, watching film, you know, breaking down, you know, what he did the day before and how he's going to fix it the next day. So it's just definitely important to get that one step every day, and he's definitely done that. Patrick and Ryan. Hey, no, on, on Hendon, just uh, Chris Golis was, was in here saying that he's just really straight line, doesn't get too high to it. I mean, how, how important is that kind of poise and demeanor in your quarterback? And, and is there anything that does get him either fired up or, or maybe show more emotion than other kinds? For sure. He's definitely consistent. Um, and that's something you need, like, to be a successful uh, quarterback in the SEC is just consistency. You know, I mean, you make a mistake, throw an interception, you can't let it, you know, tank you. And, you know, when you make those big plays, obviously get excited, but we got to go do it again. So, I mean, yeah, when he scores touchdowns, the team's doing good, team scoring touchdowns, defense playing good, you know, he's fired up and stuff, but he doesn't, you know, get too high because he knows we've got to go out and, uh, and perform the next drive, so. Okay, I think you played every position when you were at Georgia. You played a couple different spots last year. Has it helped you to be able to kind of settle in at right tackle, and how has that position been as a fit for you? Yeah, absolutely. It's definitely, um, you know, it's been kind of a breath of fresh air because all my years of college, I've, you know, one week I'm playing this position, next week I'm playing this one. Halfway through this game, I got to switch over here. So it's 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 been cool to you know focus on my craft in one one aspect of of the game and um, just keep improving every week and and watching different people how they play it because I've only been playing since fall camp. You know, uh, haven't been playing it very long, but just you know trying to get better every day, take a step every day, and you know every week just breaking down the film, seeing the things I can do better. And, and did you want to play tackle this year? I know you kind of leaned down a little bit, or slimmed down a little bit. It looks like, but that's something you kind of wanted to do since it's maybe your final year. Um, I didn't really, I didn't really have a preference anywhere. Um, but you know, I had, I, I kind of knew coming into this year I might have to play tackle. So I spent a lot of my off season, you know, trying to, trying to work on playing tackle because I knew I could play guard. Um, but you know, I haven't really played tackle that much. So just working every day, uh, trying to get better at tackle, trying to you know lose a little weight so I can be faster on the edge. Vince and then to the back. You said going into the year, you and your brother, that you were looking forward to being in this high tempo offense because you could see defenders really start to get fatigued. Are you seeing that play out, especially when you guys are at your, your prime in terms of tempo? Yeah, absolutely. Especially, you know, when you run the ball. Um, when you're on the ball, you're just leaning on people, leaning on people, and then you can, you can see them get tired towards the end of the drive, takes that pass rush, you know, kind of kind of slows it down a little bit. And with the tempo, uh, just not letting them bring in, you know, their second package. I know a few games this year, uh, the referees have been stopping letting people bring in other packages and stuff. But, you know, for the most part, they can't get their packages in and off the field. So um, it definitely slows the game down, makes it easier. Okay, what does BB and BB as the offensive line of the week? Oh, it was just huge, you know. But, um, you know, we got a new week this week. I was very blessed to, you know, have that honor. But. You know, like I said on Twitter, it wouldn't, it wouldn't, it wouldn't happen if it was just me. You know, I mean, everybody on the field this weekend was was playing unbelievable. All four guys up there with me were doing their jobs. You know, making holes for the running backs. Running backs were finding the holes. Quarterbacks were making their reads. Wide receivers on the perimeter. You know, they were blocking. Our tight ends were blocking. So I mean, it's just not a me reward. You know, I mean, the whole offense played unbelievable. But I'm definitely blessed to have it. Adam and Eric. I mean, you guys are going fast, and there's a lot of chaos for the defense. 
does that affect your assignment any at all? That when guys are not lined down or anything like that, or is there only only positives out of that? Uh, it definitely doesn't doesn't hurt, doesn't help, um, but. We've got, you know, we've got assignments for if somebody's not lined up. You've got an assignment on a play, so I mean, if there's somebody in that gray area, you know, you've got to, you, you know, you're prepared for what's going to happen. So um, we prepare really well, week in and week out of, you know, different looks we might see, um, different plays that, you know, looks we might run plays into and stuff. So, I mean, you're prepared for any look really when you get out there. Yeah, kind of on that. Uh you know, they're playing number one, they're in a different front than what you prepare for. Kind of was was that thought process kind of going in that first drive, seeing that different look? Yeah, it was definitely different. Uh, you know, we prepared for a four down. That's what they've been running for most of the year. So, you know, coming out and seeing, oh, this is different. Um, but we didn't panic. I mean, Bowling Green did the same thing to us the first game. It was basically the same thing. So uh, I know teams in the past have had success, you know, against uh, when the coaching staff was at the previous stop, uh, they've had success stopping that offense and that certain defense. So, um, you know, we were prepared for it because we saw it at Bowling Green. So, um, I mean, it's really just, you know, something that we I mean, went out there and executed against. Last three questions, Vince, Jimmy, Ben. Two quick things. Uh, Kater, are you guys, after the great performance against Mizzou, kind of on a little bit of a high alert to make sure that you don't drop this game to, to kind of erase what happened on Saturday? Uh, not certainly. I mean, not specifically. Just you know, I mean, that game been wiped off. I mean, we're on to we're on to South Carolina. We're preparing for South Carolina, and you know, just trying to go one and zero every week, trying to get better every week, and you know, that's what we're focused on. And what do you see in South Carolina? Uh, they got a really good front seven, from what I've seen. Uh, they played some good teams this year, so you know, they've definitely definitely been battle tested. Uh, got a lot of old guys on defense. A lot of guys have played a lot of ball. Um, pretty physical up front, and. Uh, fast, really good technically with their hands and stuff. With the offensive line, there have been several injuries, including your brother, Dane Davis, Kingston Harris, etc. Why do you think you guys are so effective against Missouri when you had so many players that banged up? Um, I think we just went out and executed our plays well. Um, you know, everybody was playing hard. It was an early game and, you know, we've had quite a few early games already this year. So, you know, we were ready to get up and get after them. Uh, just went out, played hard. Everybody, you know, played assignment sound, didn't give up, you know, negative plays, no penalties. Um, I think we only had two, two penalties on the whole day, which is huge. I mean, no turnovers. And, you know, it's really hard to, to lose a game when you're not turning the ball over, not putting yourself behind a stick. So. Finish with Ben. Just how giddy were you when you saw Missouri line up with five in the box? Um, I wasn't really giddy, you know. I just. Uh, I came out there and, and saw a different front, so I was like, we kind of had to get on, a, on the same page with everybody and let everybody know how we're going to block things. Um, so just trying to get everybody on the same page. And, you know, after that first couple drives, you know, I was like, they're probably going to have to get out of this. Hey, how did uh, Jerome communicate that? You know, a sudden change to their first play, did he do a good job with the communication? Yeah, he definitely did a good job of, of the communication. You know, I mean, obviously we, we prepared for four down all week and then came out, we had a nose and, and uh, you know, two edge defenders. And so obviously we saw it was all jacked up. So, you know, we kind of talked to each other, got everybody on the same page and then just kept it rolling. Thank you, Kate. Appreciate you guys.